Greetings ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dani and today's video we will be learning how to convert decimal numbers into binary numbers and vice versa and the first question we have is how to convert the number 84 to binary. A quick uh, theoretical aspect for binary numbers is that binary number system only uses zeros and ones and where each digit represents a power of two. It's very key. Now the first approach in solving these problems, there's two approaches to solve for this. The first approach we'll be covering is by listing out all the possible powers of 2 and we start power of 2 of 0 and all the way to power of 2 of 7 which power of 2 of 7 is 128 then power of 0 is, is just 1 right so we're just going to list it out and the first step well we see over here we have 84 84 is smaller than 128 so we'll go to the next one then we'll go to 64 and now we do 84 minus 64 which equals 20 now by that we add a 1 over here because this illustrates that we have one aspect of 64. Now we proceed. 20 is great as is less than 32, so we skip that and go to 16. And 16 is smaller. So we can write it over here. And now we're left off of 4. And we're gonna place another 1 over here at 4 over here because you have 4 remaining. And now we get 0 and we have 0, 1, 0, uh, 0, 0. And that means our final answer would be 1010100. And that's our binary number. The second approach is a lot better because it's more simpler and it's faster. This one you have to do like these side calculations, right? So the second approach is by creating a little little chart. You have your dividend, you have your divisor, and your remainder. Your divisor will be always true because it's a binary. And now the dividend you put 84. So let's we're gonna put 84 over here. And what's the remainder? Of when it divides by 2. Well, it's going to be 0, and I have to rewrite the 84. So we put 42 over here, then we divide it by 2, which is going to be still 0, uh, the re remainder. Then we have 21, then we divide it by 2, and here we're going to have 1 as the remainder, and now we le left off here with 10. Then we do 10 divided by 2, which is going to be 5 over here, and it's going to be put 0 over here as the remainder. Then we left off with 5. 5 divided by 2, is, is 1 as the remainder and after 2 will be placed as dividend and you do it again this will be 0 then after here will be 1 and once you reach 1 you can stop it okay and you have a remainder of 1 now you write it from bottom to top so we're going to put an arrow over here and that's the answer this is how you solve for 84 now I'm going to, we're going to do another example for the number 18 so the 18 we're going to do by this approach so we have your dividend, divisor, your remainder. We put all your divisors because it's in binary. You put two over here, and your dividend will be 18. And after over here, you get zero. And then you put your nine. Then you get one. Then you put your four. You do it again, you get zero. Then you do two, and you get zero. Then you replace it again. You get one over here, and that's when you stop it. And after you have one, and this is our answer. So basically, from bottom to top, and that's the answer for this. That's how you convert 18 to binary. Our next question entails how we convert a binary to decimal. Well, as I mentioned previously, we had the exponents. We start at 2 to the power of 0 over here. Then this is 2 to the power of 1 in this tens place over here, this portion over here. Then we do 2 to the power of 2. Then we continue and continue. Now, wherever there's a 1, you write it down. So here, this is all the ones that have a 1. After you write it, and you can also put the zeros. And these will go away and you just calculate, put inside your calculator and you will get an answer of 45. Okay, so now let's say we have a, a decimal portion over here. Well, we split the problem in half. So our first, for the integer portion, we did the exact same thing as we did before. So we put our divisor as 2. Then we have 16 over here. We do, we do 16 divided by 2, which we're going to have a remainder of 0, but we have 8 over here. Then we do it again and keep doing it until we reach 1, right? And now we have 1, and 1 divided by 2 will give us a remainder of 1, and we stop it over here because we are 1. Whenever you are 1 as a dividend, you stop it, okay? Then we, got, then we read it by bottom to top, and we acquire this. Okay, now, now for the decimal part, it's a bit different. So we start off like this. We have 0 0.125 as this portion over here. You multiply it by 2. Once you multiply it by 2, we get 0 0.25. We take this and bring it down, and we're multiply it by 2. Then we get 0 0.5, right? Then we're going to multiply it by again, 
And now we're going to remove this one and we start at zero. Now you put zero over here, multiply by two and you equal to zero. Note that you just remove this one. You only subtract one. So once it gets greater than one, you remove that one and be still left off at a decimal. And if you get zero, the last time you do it, that means you stop it because it's just, it's done to convert it. And after you go from, then after you just, I'm going to highlight over here the, the zeros and the ones. And you go from bottom to top again. And that's the decimal portion. Then you just got to combine them. So you do the integer part plus the decimal part. And you acquire this as the answer for converting 16.125 to, to binary. Now we do one more question. We're going to convert the binary of this number into decimal. So basically we start over here. Now. We're going to first start on this portion as we started before. So we have 2 to the power of 0. I mean, we just continue to write it. So we have 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 3, 2 to the 4. Now, for this portion over here, we start with the negative. We do 2 to the power of negative 1, and we continue to the power of negative 2, and so forth, and so forth. Now, you rewrite inside of a formula. So now we have 1 to the power of 2 to the 4, 0 to the 2 to the 3, and we continue, continue, and continue. And after you put inside your calculator, then that's the answer. So that's the answer for this question. And that's it for this video. So please leave a like and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, great day.